1966 version, which was the, the, the version that featured Jeff Beck. And as most people know, he passed away this, this past uh, week. And um, I, I think that guy gave me more free guitar lessons than he knows, you know. I mean, I told him that I, I had the opportunity to meet and hang with Jeff uh, several times and actually jam on stage with him, which was something because when I was a kid, even from the age of 15, if you if you had asked me, who, who would you like to jam? If you could jam with anybody, living or dead, who would you want to jam with that? It wasn't Jimi Hendrix, although I loved Jimi Hendrix and I did see him in 1968. Um, and it wouldn't have been John Lennon, although he's my all-time idol. It always was Jeff Beck, because Jeff Beck to me is, uh, there's, there's only one. He's the only one that ever does what he does and uh, continued to grow until he was almost 80 years old and kept pushing himself uh, the envelope of, of the electric guitar. Probably the most influential uh, rock electric guitar that you know the world has ever known. Not to sound so heavy, but it's pretty fucking heavy. Right. So, um, you know, and then 50 years later, after that album came out, I was asked to join the Yardbirds and, and sit in his chair. And, uh, I got the opportunity to tour with them for three years, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And it, and it was like a full circle thing, you know, because being so inspired by those records and that guy, um, and then having the opportunity to a jam with them and then be actually be in the band that he, uh, you know, that I aspired to, was something. So uh, I'd like to do uh, a little uh, tribute, a little blues tribute, and uh, send it out to Jeff, where he may be. Yeah. And uh, we'll see how this goes. This is kind of a, a really good attack for this life, which we can do for so let's see what happens. Uh, wish me luck, people.
Thank <laughs> you.